What's poppin' bag? I hope you're having a day and welcome back to some tour now by light with this fine day. We'll be exploring more of the world of Chernobyl light after we escape the rat man. And after all killed you being clumsy as hell and boarding a lot of documents that we needed to gather for the to attack the NRA. Uh NAR I mean. Um but first we have to actually go to sleep so we can get to the next day. Um yeah, no, I don't know how my character was so dumb. He was like slow motion trying to grab some documents and knocked over a candle. Um, it bought just everything. So, wait, wife? Igor, wake up. I'm awake. Dead wife? I think. Meet me in the Red Forest. Time to learn about your past. So, just like always? What the fuck, cat? And also, what the fuck, dead wife? Jesus Christ. All right, then. Because we gotta go to the Red Forest. Um. Wait, hold up, hold up, hold up. Oh, uh, so, my friend. What's the fucking plan, man? J Jesus, okay. Uh, I guess fucking is a part of the fucking code, Dale. Um. He has a handgun. Let's get him something a little better. We, we definitely have something better in here. Oh, yeah, like, uh, enough AK 47s for a whole squad, basically. All right. Um, so we doing something expected. or not? Yeah, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm giving you an AK-47, my friend. I know for a fact you'll like that. Oh, let me get rid of the handgun. Alrighty then, I'm going to the Red Forest. Um, let's be my job. Avalo, my friend, you're going to, um... What do I want to send you on? Ammo drop. You're going to go to the ammo drop. Medicine. And... Explore 99.99. Yeah, yeah, Matt, Matt Scale's gonna go to, uh, play a pot. Um, so, let's start the mission! This is basically how you start missions in the game. It's very simple, very easy. Um, just select all your missions you want your friends to go on, and then you select your mission. Easy peasy! Normally I select Mind Force. Um, and which is, you know, main storyline quest, so. Do you get some good old waddle? Um, because, well, trying to stay hydrated. So should I have a lot of work today, because I'm going on vacation very, very mm -hmm. soon. Um, like, literally tomorrow, and this video will be definitely uploading after, uh, the vacation, so, nobody thinks try to rob my house, um, because I will be home, um, and I'm not afraid of, like, uh, shoot your ass. No, hell no, you won't, you fuck that up. Um, I at least, will have someone here to do it. Um, I got fucking noodle arms and don't know how to shoot from the life of me right now. Great, I'm only 21, and I have yet to, uh... Um, get weapon train or like sh uh, gun train of any kind. Um, again, mostly for the fact that uh, again I am uh, I'm quite young, but also apparently there's something on my here. Hello. Oh, those are corpses. Hmm. Every time I hear the broken up radios from these events, I think, I always hear is like, pull up, pull up, pull up. I don't know why, that's what I hear when I hear the broken up radio things. Um, let's yoink these orbs, because I need lots of orbs for things. It's kind of a constant need. Um, ah, you fucker! So, game scared me. Um, because that, that goddamn Chernobyl ghost thing's after me. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. Shit! Shit! Fuck! I'm gonna drink alcohol after that one. Jesus! My cat, I don't know what pre pre propelled him to do this, attacked my knee. And that scared the shit out of me because I was just uh, jump scared by a bunch of enemies. And then... He just decided to run. He just decided to run like a crazy cat. I swear to God. My cat's whack. Okay, hopefully there's no more of those scary guys. 
That's just uh, body armor for one of my guys. Oh, hell yeah. All right. Where do we need to go next? Let's go up this way. There's something over this way. 142 meters? I got this. I can go there. Uh -huh. There's some NRA soldiers. And now I'm going to kill them. You will watch me murder these two fine soldiers. These two Russian soldiers. You will watch me murder them both in two shots. One. And then two. Okay, not two. Oh, there's three of them. That was, that was five shots. But you know what? That's close enough to two. That's close enough to two shots. Um... Why is there a giant cloud of green, uh, jokel gas? What the hell? I don't remember that being healed last time. I just used another healable thing accidentally. Damn it. They probably were gonna say some pretty important stuff and I just murdered them. A lot of times the, the soldiers here in this game will say important things. God. They won't bully Wait. you anymore. A tough guy, huh? I well saved done. a man. Usually these assholes don't venture this far because of the lurkers. Anyways. Thanks. We would have dealt with them ourselves, but I guess you saved us the trouble. I guess we did. Cat has to try chewing on some wires that I don't want him chewing on. My cat's stupid. Well, he's not stupid. Um, he just uh, is a very playful cat, and I'm currently getting really bad radiation. I love record with my cat, but he can be annoying. Especially if you're trying to record something. Ah, uh, I love him. He's a baby. He's literally still an actual baby. Um, he's like a year and a half old. It's a good amount of radiation now. How much radiation pills do I have? A good amount. Oh, he just fucked himself up against my body. My, my leg. There's a little bit of radiation here, but eh, nothing to really worry about. Ooh, apples. Nice diabetic treat. Um, yeah, I'm just walking. Huh? Oh! Oh my god, I got, I got fucking green nut. Jesus Christ, it's one of those dustful things. It's fucking bulletproof. The fuckle. Alright, you local piece of shit. There you go. That was actually really, really easy. Alright, you other local piece of shit. Another one. How did that one take three shots? Jeez. D the disrespect on that guy. Wow. Eat my bullets like it was nothing. What is this? Mechanical parts. I'll take that. And some meds. Now, how do I get in here? Rock pick. Oh. Some food and more food. Oh. That's actually pretty useful. Well, let's go inside the green shit, I guess. Because I am stupid. I kind of want to just explore, like, inside the gas stuff. Oh, God. A lot of radiation. So, Green Spot just had a lot of radiation. And about nothing else worth it. Literally just nothing in there. Let's take off the mask. <coughs> Alright, let's go to the main quest location. Since that's the next closest location. Except I want this loot thing right here. A little close to the green stuff, but not too close. No, it's a little silly guy. Look at that little silly guy back there with the little green head. I'm going to blast him to another dimension now. That was surprisingly easy. But a lot of times I know they don't like to go alone. I just healed up again by accident, wasting up my last orbital suit. Great. I keep clicking four instead of three for my shotgun, and that's what I keep doing. Oh my god, there was so much radiation. I want that engine. I want that engine. I want that engine. I want that engine. Jesus Christ. 
I think that engine itself was a nuclear-powered engine from the Fallout universe, because Jesus, the amount of radiation pouring out of that thing. I don't like that noise. Oh. This is kind of really creepy. A branch. You discovered a clue. And a branch. What do you hope to find among these trees, Igor? You tell me, my love. Oh. You brought me here. What my are you love. talking about, Igor? Are you losing your mind? <sighs> Frankly, yes. I think I might be. You came here because there's something you need to understand. Something to do with those dead trees. What they are, what they represent. They're not dead. Huh? Not entirely. The radiation from the disaster killed all the microbes, which slowed decay almost to a halt. The Red Forest is like a snapshot in time, but there are signs that nature may recover. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. Every inch of this area is still badly irradiated. Perhaps this horror will give birth to something entirely new. Perhaps it already has. New? What the hell? Strange. Foreign. Alien. Something unfathomable. New. There's more I want you to see. Wife, where did you go? I know you went to go get the milk uh, 20 years ago and you never showed back up. Are you in this forest for some reason? This is not where you get milk. Um. It's a backpack. There's some good supplies. But, um, why? Is there a bread down there? Okay, I need to come off my flashlight for a second. What is that? Is that a claw trying to pick up the Chernobyl light? I also scratched my leg real fast. Um, why I had to say that? I don't know. Watch don't your know. step, Tanya. Let's see. Don't worry, my love. I'll be nice fine. Photo. Like when you fell out of that tree you were climbing. You almost gave me a heart attack. <laughs> I was trying to give you an apple, remember? Try a low-hanging fruit next time. <laughs> low-hanging fruits are not my thing, Igor. Huh. Okay. Oh, again, no level up. Hell yeah. Oh, I'll be right back. Something over here still has my my oh. Must be the sign. Probably. The claw. The most irradiated piece of machinery in the zone. This might oh. also be the most radioactive place in the zone, apart from the reactor core. I know. It was used to remove the graphite from the roof of reactor Damn. number three. Twenty thousand Rundgen per hour. Touching it with one's bare hands would practically be suicide. So the liquidators had to use machinery or robots whenever they could. Both terrifying and fascinating, isn't it? Almost as if someone had accidentally opened a door to the inside of some dark, twisted star. Oozing power that should have been left untouched. Where do you get these ideas from, Tanya? Probably all those science fiction books you used to read. Nuclear fission is just a method of producing energy. We became quite adept at harnessing it. Really? This place doesn't inspire confidence in your assessment. I know what nuclear fission is, and you know that's not what I'm talking about. I don't understand. I think you do, my love. You said it yourself once. It's us. Humankind. Are we truly ready to bear such a responsibility? We're like a bunch of chimpanzees trying to launch a rocket into space. What oh, if the radioactivity okay. is just the beginning? What if we stumble upon something even more powerful? Chernobylite. We need someone to guide us. Someone more significant than all of us. Someone or something. This Sometimes I wish humanity had one gigantic head. What for? So it could pull that head out of its gigantic ass. Joke oh. about it if it oh, makes okay. you feel safe. But it changes nothing. Gigantic I'll ass. show you. Show me what, my love. Man. It probably just sitting next to that thing should probably kill me. Okay, wife, what are you showing me? Oh, apparently something back this way. Wait, how far do we have to go? Oh, Jesus Christ, wife. Wife, why do we have to go all the way back there that way? What? 
My wife's shit does not make any sense. Wait, it, it led me back this way. Lockpick. That's a shock. I have so many shotguns. I guess I'll take an extra one. I keep finding more and more shotguns and other things. Let's grab this fuel, I guess. Oh, I'll see you guys when I get to my next location for my wife to tell me more information about, I guess, Chernobyl. And probably Chernobyl Light. A wife, I'm here. Souvenirs. What is this? Oh, Rush Nelson dolls. Sanctions? Oh, what do you know about them? Well, when the Chernobyl reactor blew apart and the radionuclides started spreading, the authorities created an exclusion zone encompassing a 30 kilometer radius around the power plant. The people living in that area were evacuated. Eventually, first oh. the Pripyat dwellers, then the other nearby hamlets. Kopachi, Yaniv, Poliska, Tarasi, Severivka, I love Vilcha, how this game actually kind of history. Andreevka, and many more. They were forced to leave, had to abandon their lives and their belongings. Their animals were shot, but some people refused to leave, didn't they? Or resettled later in secret. But why? Why would they do something so irrational, Igor? They were sentimental, I guess. They must not have been thinking clearly. You're the only one thinking clearly, aren't you, Igor? Always trying to reason your way out of every predicament. But people are different. They act on emotions, hopes, yeah. and fears. Illusions. Look who's talking. I was cold. <laughs> A Jesus. mad scientist conversing with an imaginary woman. You think you know these people, but you don't. What do you know about this place? It's history. Do yeah, you have Michael? any idea what, you know what the it? folks living here went through? The Russian Civil War, forced collectivization, the Great Patriotic War, Nazi occupation, persecution by the NKVD. History wasn't kind to this place. I know. Damn. They suffered and lost so much. But they buried their dead and kept on going in spite of everything. This has been their place on Earth for generations. Do you think a bit of radioactivity would scare them away? People mm. don't change that quickly, Igor. Maybe they don't want to, or, or maybe know. they just I can't. Not many of them are left today. This place is dying. When the last of the Samo shells passes away, it will be the end. What about you, my love? Will you embrace change if our fate depends on it? Damn. Okay. Pick up Chindor. Ghosts of the past of the Red Forest. Completed. A lot of loot over here, but also a lot of radiation. Oh, wait, not that much. It's just that little spy just walked through. Alright. Yoink, yoink, yoink. Well, I've been recording for long enough, so if you guys like the video, please just subscribe and like it, comment below, click the little bell down below, because, well, again, I'm gonna leave this video off here. So, yeah. Peace.